Hey everyone, so today I'm doing a Marvel Legends review on the Spider-Man retro carded animated series Shocker. So you got a nice image of Shocker on the side here, along with pictures of the rest of the figures in the wave, and a cool image of Shocker on the back, and showing you how to swap out his hands. But anyway, we'll go ahead and get this guy opened up, and we'll check out the accessories and details. Alright, so first up he comes with these shocking accessories from they're just done in this orange translucent. I do wish they could have given them something different than the bubbly, you know, accessory, you know, effects that we've gotten in the past. Um, Cause it doesn't look like this would shock anybody, but yep, we got another pair of those. We got a pair of like gripping hands here. I got the brown gloves with the silver gauntlets on, I like how they wrap around his hands there. And you got a nice bright or nice shiny silver on the backside. I think this looks really cool. Looks nice. All right, now checking out Shocker. Yes, his pan applications are extremely bland. Um, they're just, yeah, they're just dull. But it's supposed to look like from the cartoon. So I will kind of give it that. Uh, on the top of the head, mine does have some blotchiness. But you got a nice sculpt over the whole figure. So maybe one day we'll get another Shocker that has, you know, more pan applications. But I do like all the sculpted detail on this figure. He's even got texturing on the brown here but it's just a very flat brown flat yellow but i like how they uh sculpted all that in there he is pinless completely which is nice overall i think this turned out really nice it does get a little blotchy on the back here too i must say and then the elbow is actually done that kind of bothers me done in a different yellow plastic than the upper here so you got more of a shiny but lighter yellow compared to the top here it's just more of a not super dark, but it's a darker yellow than the elbow. But I like how this looks. I like the silver paint applications on his gauntlets here. And you got the fists, which is the only way I'm going to have the shocker uh, posed with. And you got the silver belt here. It goes all the way around. Looks nice. And um, no silver bleeding over, but that does kind of get nasty right there. And then anyways, on the legs, you get some more of that texturing in the brown and then all nicely sculpted in the legs. Got nice silver paint applications on the top of the boots. And you do have more of that texturing on the brown boot, which looks nice. I do like that they did that. They did, you know, texturing on that. It looks really good. It does get a little sloppy on this side. Let me see on the top here. Looks good. Yeah, not too bad. Got white eyes. Kind of going all over the place, aren't they? But they're not uh, messed up or anything like that. That's cool. All right. So I'll show you guys with his hand swapped and why not show the accessories? I mean, I, I just, I'm not using these. I think that looks terrible. I don't like it. No, thanks. All right. We'll swap out the hand. And so it's a little different than the average Marvel Legends where you pull it off at the wrist. These come off at the forearm. So you just kind of push them on there. And there you go. Air shocker at the more of a gripping hand or relaxed hand, I guess you can say. I'll show you guys how tall Shocker is and I'll get in some fun access, fun comparisons. There we go. All right, guys, so Shocker stands a over, right at six inches tall. So here he is next to, I'm forgetting already the wave, but this is kind of the more uh, recent Shocker we got many years ago. I still like him. I think he looks nice. The gauntlets aren't, I mean, this is kind of, because I watched the cartoon as a kid. That's the gauntlets I remember as a kid. Um, but, and then here is the Toy Biz Spider-Man Classics Shocker. This one is actually really nice. I just wish it had, it has the gimmick. So his arms are not really poseable. They, they rotate and they have a ball joint in the upper shoulders, but otherwise everything else is not poseable. But I guess, you know, if you're having them shooting, you know, like his shocks, uh, it doesn't really matter, but he is missing like a lot of articulation, but he looks really good. Um, but there's kind of, I have another shocker that looks just like this. Uh, it's just got the Thunderbolts uh, logo on the belt line. I didn't see the point of bringing him out since he looks exactly the same besides that as that shocker. But there's the little comparison. There is another shocker I am missing. It's Hasbro reused this body mold and it's more of a brighter yellow just to kind of give you a hint, an idea, I guess. I wish I had him. Uh, one day I'll buy him. He's just not on the top of the list. So I guess I shouldn't say I wish I had him, but I do plan on picking him up just to 
kind of complete these kind of comparisons for you guys. Anyway, enough of my rambling. I'll just ramble all night if I can. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye.